We all want our computers to run efficiently and also prefer to customize some telemetry options to remove tracking. Maybe that, or you prefer to do all your customization options from one app. Or you may like to do it manually. Now, on another episode of reviewing deep loaders, we have Crap Fixer. And as the name implies, you can remove all the crap in Windows. You may have heard about Flyby 11, which is now is known as FlyOBE. Well, this user on GitHub is a creator of that tool. So if you like that one, you might like this one. And if you don't like it, there's plenty of other options for more deep loaders in my channel. Now let's check this out. So you'll see here, uh, Crap Fixer, and let me show you how to get there. So you go to your browser, typical stuff, Crap Fixer, and you'll see here, Build by Bell, Crap Fixer. And if you check Build by Bell, let me make my screen smaller too. And if you check uh, Build by Bell, you'll see Flyby 11 in Craft Fixer. Flyby 11 is now called FlyOBE, which lets you upgrade almost any computer to Windows 11, uh, even unsupported installations. So if we go to Craft Fixer, we'll see here that it talks about that it cleans all the stuff that Windows leaves behind, and it mainly says crap. So you can see that uh, they made it uh, in a specific way that you can see it bothers them, and it bothers me and probably all of us sometimes. But it is nice that we can use some of these applications if we don't want to do manual each one of those settings and we can change multiple settings from one go. You'll see here they've been working on this uh, tool for a little while and we'll go to the latest release. You'll see here July 9th is the latest. And we'll see here there's a zip file which we're going to be downloading. And now we're going to minimize and just open your uh, file explorer and go to downloads. You'll see Craft Fixer, right click and do extract all, enter, and it'll extract that folder in your downloads folder. And you'll see, you'll have it here. And after this, you can move it anywhere else that you wanna move it to. Now, listen to this, always important. You gotta run this program as an administrator. If you don't run it as an administrator, it's not gonna perform the settings that you want. It, it, it's not gonna do all the settings that you set up. So run as administrator, click yes. And once it's running as administrator, you're gonna be able to run all these settings and modifications that you wanna do on your operating system. So now you have three tabs here, fixer, restore, and tools. We're gonna to start with fixer. Now I'm gonna unselect basic disk cleanup because I don't wanna do that. But you can have all these, uh, you have system, for, um, I'm gonna go over some of these ones, not everything because it's a lot of stuff. If you right click on one of those, uh, you can see the menu there and do help and you'll see a breakdown of what you'll be changing by checking that option. So check the options that make sense for you. Um, on system, and you can also search online as well. So on system, you'll have a blue screen with more details, verbose logon status messages, speed shutdown for quick uh, shutdowns, network throttling. If you want to disable it, um, uncheck that. And if you want to check it out, remember help disables the network throttling mechanism to potentially improve performance for streaming. Uh, but sometimes, like I said, you can cause a little bit of issues with some stuff, sometimes not. So just, do your due diligence when setting up stuff. Optimize system responsiveness, speed up menu show delay. Basically it allows for Windows to open up a lot quicker by changing some settings. Enable end task and you've heard about end task. You right click here and you see end task is uh, enabled right now. Basically that way you don't have to go into the uh, task manager to kill a program that is causing problems. Sometimes you gotta go and kill it and do the end task. And this makes it a lot easier when you're having a problem and you just want to end it. Uh, disable hibernation or whatever you prefer. Microsoft Edge. I know Microsoft Edge is uh, really bloated and it links to a lot of stuff. It's your primary uh, browser when you install your Windows. And here you'll disable it as your primary. You'll debloat, remove services, disable Copilot and a multitude of other things. You can see here, disable as default. Access to collection, disable chopping assistant, disable gamer mode, and I usually check all these ones because I use Chrome, I even use Firefox and other ones. There's better ones now, but I haven't checked uh, 
all the browsers. I got to make a video of the best browsers too in the future. User interface, show full context menus in Windows 11. So like, kind of like when you right click and you see the classic menu like this, like show more options and things like that. Don't use personalized lock screen. You hide the lock screen and other stuff. Hide search box on task, task bar, hide task view, disable search box suggestions. So when you open and start, and then it starts giving you all the uh, web searches for Bing. So I, I don't like that. Disable Bing search. Align start to the left. As you can see, it's already there. So I'm just going to check that. Gaming, if you want to disable this. Privacy, I usually check all these ones. The activity history, location track is going to disable all of that stuff. Turn off telemetry data collection. Ads, all these ads. Are, it's, it says File Explorer, but I have never seen an ads on File Explorer. Uh, disable finish setup ads, personalized ads, tailored experiences. I don't like any of that. So I just leave this uh, selected. If you want to don't show copilot and taskbar, turn off recall in Windows 11. So there's a number of things you can do. Once you're happy with your selection, you just run the fixer. And you'll see here it's running the fixer and it has everything selected here. It's telling you that uh, it set all this stuff up without a problem. If you get red uh, letters, it means that it couldn't do that specific one, which I know with some Windows home systems, it might not push all the setup settings that you want to set up. So applications, you go here and you analyze and it'll give you all the apps that you have. If you want to remove stuff, you select it. For example, I want to select this, get help, 3D viewer, you can select as much as you want. Get rid of all this stuff. And once you're happy, you run the fixer again from applications and it's removing this, the apps. Now you'll see that it has less, so it'll help your system uh, remove stuff that you don't want to have in there. So that's basically Windows, all the fixes that you can do. And you'll see there, you'll see here they're grayed out because they're uh, configured and applications for removing the apps. As you saw, it was pretty easy. And if you want to restore, you go here to restore and this will, if you click yes, it'll remove everything that you did. So that's kind of like a nice feature that you can do if you're not happy with your settings. And also if you have snapshots, also that's going to help you out revert to a previous state if you're having issues with your computer. Now, if you go to tools, we also hear the donation stuff. If you go to settings, if you want it, like, as, like it says, if you want to donate, it's up to you. You can donate with different currencies. Uh, settings, and you can save all the settings to NI file. Basically, it'll just uh, allow you to know all the settings that you set up. That way you can just set it up the same on other systems. Now on plugins, you have a couple of things. This plugins is like basically scripts that you can enable so that you can use them like the Chris Titus app. You can do a quick uh, PowerShell uh, restore point. You have other stuff here. Remove edit with Clipchamp, but whatever you want to do, restart Explorer, remove default apps, uninstall OneDrive. So if you install that, you'll see here installed. Now, when you go to your folder here, you'll see a plugin section, right? Okay, and basically you have all the scripts here. Basically, if you double click, it's gonna open the uh, script with the notepad. If you wanna run it on PowerShell, you can do run with PowerShell, but for example, Chris Titus app, it needs to be run as an administrator. So what you can do as well, you can just grab it, copy paste, and put it into PowerShell as an administrator. Or in this case, with uh, uninstall OneDrive, you can try, see if it works. If it doesn't work, it means that it needs to be escalated with uh, administrator. So when you open here, PowerShell, run as administrator, yes. And I'm not sure how to open it up with, just run it with administrator privileges already. So like in this case, you'll see. I just copied and paste, but it, I have to use it as administrator. Okay, and there you go. If you guys have a, a better way of making this one a, as administrator, let me know. I'm gonna check if I can do a different thing, but you'll see here that uh, doesn't give you the option. So basically that's gonna help you have the scripts in your system and other stuff here, features. And you have a couple features here that if you wanna set it up, 
if you feel bold and you want to try some of this stuff, you can go ahead, click on it and apply the custom uh, feature. But I don't want to try any of those. And like I said, if you want to re undo all of that stuff, you can just click restore. Yes. And you can see it remove all, all the settings from the fixer. You can see, and what you can do is analyze and then you'll see that everything is red, right? So what I'm thinking is that all the stuff that is red is the stuff that is not enabled. And if you want to run the fixer, let's say all this stuff that is selected, you'll run the fixer and it just did all this stuff. Now we're going to do analyze again and look at that. Now it's grayed out because it is, um, enabled and set up. So that's a couple of the things that you can do with craft fixer. If you see stuff on the menus here that you like, that you want to do particularly in your system, you can just come in and start checking the stuff that you want to uh, enable in your system. Like I said, just right click, help, and check what it says. You want to look for it online, click yes, and you'll see more options about the specific um, registry change that you're going to be making. So you'll see here, registry, editor, search for taskbar. So basically disable certain things from the registry, which it makes it uh, effective. So if you want to use crap, crap fixer, um, if you want to check it out, uh, like I said, they have fly OBE and, but if you want to check it out because you want to debloat your system and you like this particular application, if you want to go in and do some of this stuff, it's pretty easy. It's, you don't have to manually adjust things. You can do everything from one place and always restore and always keep some snapshots of your system. So in case something breaks or you do something crazy, you can always go back. So. Um, if you don't like this particular one, I have other, uh, deep loaders as well. It comes down to preference, whatever you prefer. If you like something versus another, I just, uh, like to show you guys everything. And I like to show you free stuff. If, if it's a paid option, it's going to be a really good, uh, thing, but all this stuff is free. Most of the stuff I, I show you on my channel is free. So if you want to use it and just make some changes to your system, Go right ahead. I'm going to re keep reviewing as more stuff comes, comes up, new applications and new deep loaders and other stuff. I just like that, uh, we have options and we don't have to stick with one and we can use different things. So always remember to set us an administrator as well. And basically this is it for me. I just wanted to share uh, this with you guys. Um, the, more stuff is coming up. I was out of commission for a little while, but I'm back and I'm hoping I can do more videos. Uh, consistently. You all take care. Loco Tech Man out.